good morning. Sunday morning, myself, Lee, Jack, we've headed out. We left the ramp about quarter to five. We've headed out pretty much just to the back of the three mile. Um, we barely it up a bit. Well, we've hardly barely up. We only just got here. Jack's already had one hook up, which seemed like a decent fish, which he proceeded to drop. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to fish plastics and Jack's going to fish bait alongside and we'll go side by side and just see how it goes. Um, I'm pretty confident I can get fish on plastics just the same. Um, Jack will probably switch to plastics. I don't think he's ever caught a fish on. You ever caught a fish on plastics? Not a good one. Not nah, a good one. Really All right. Fish, yeah. So if I can prove it, I'm sure Jack will switch to plastics, and then we'll see what happens. But we're going to give it a crack here, see if we can get a snapper or a couple of sambos, and then we're going to move in to the inshore reefs and see if we can get into the kings again. So. All right. So this is where we're going to be sitting. It's basically, I don't know, what you would call the three mile. We sort of run down the coast a little bit, um, just a little bit further from the ramp than most people would be bothered to go. Basically on the back of the three mile, in 12 metres, you'll see here in a minute it runs down to 14 and down to 15, pretty much just here somewhere, there you go, down to 14, nothing special, just the back edge basically. Well we only just pulled up here, seriously that had only just got to the bottom and Jack's in already. Hopefully that's a sign. First drop. Feels all right, eh? Oh, it just come off. Oh. Oh. There we go. So first cast with the new outfit, the new Caldea. I'm going with a stinky gulp to start off with, just to see how we go. If the fish come on, I might change over something to be different, but I'll try this to start off with because I, I know these work and I've got faith in these. So give them cracks, see how we go. So first fish on the Caldea outfit. I really like this rod. Basic gear rod. Feels like it's got heaps of power, but it's still really sensitive. So I'm fishing 30 pound with a reasonably tight drag. I'll just tighten it up a bit more then. Good luck. This is the kind of outfit, this is probably the exact kind of outfit I would buy if I was going to be buying a new outfit. Oh, here we go. I think this could be a Samson fish. Oh, can you get that one out of the way, Jack? Oh, way. Oh, it's going for the reef. No, don't go that way. Like it. Don't go that way, don't go that way. Oh, it wants to do me on the reef. <laughs> yeah, it wants to stick me on the reef. Oh, I don't want this boat to see me. Too late. All right, time to lock a bit more. All right, I've turned him, I think. Oh, he so wants to get me on the reef, eh? Come away from there. I have to come so close. Oh, I can feel rocks, that's not good. Yeah, this is a pretty decent fish. That's a very good fish. I'm going to get my rod out of way. Yeah, if you can. It's not out, is it? Uh, nah, nah. I just wants that bit of reef down there, right? Oh, I feel like he's gonna get it, see? Come on, buddy. Come up. Come up. Just gotta tire him out. There's a bend in there, right, man? <laughs> a bend in your rod. Yeah, it's a nice rod, eh? I feel like I want more power, though. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we wish had the 50. <laughs> <laughs> It just feels a little under for <laughs> Sambos. This is a really good fish on that guy. Fucking get it off the bottom. Yeah, there he is. He's off the bottom. Oh! Underwater shot, surely. Oh, 
Oh, you can get over the side and get him. Oh, this could be a king. I think he's a king. Oh, he's a king. I think he might be. Yeah, king. yellow. I saw yellow. I saw yellow. So... Oh. oh. No way. way. Oh, no king. way. 100% king. Oh, come on. He's a beauty. This is the one we've been after. Come on, mate. Don't do it. Oh. Get away from me. That's a big king. I just started freaking. He just made a mess out of me then. It was like the drag was just loosened off all of a sudden, but it did. Just got near the boat and just gave it some. Hopefully he's tired after this though. Oh man. Oh. Come on baby. I'm nervous on the net. I'm nervous <laughs> as hell man. Thing. This is the fish we've been after for months. Oh, he's a beauty. Oh my god. Down there is my gulp. Oh, he's swallowed that. Eh? I'm not oh, getting that dead. back. I don't think that's coming back. He took the gulp last I don't blame him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I can't believe you've just done that. Look at that. I'm 30 pound tackle. Yeah. Oh, they said take the new Caldea outfit out and give it a working. I don't think you're going to test it much harder than that. That is one big ass fish. That is a big kingfish. That's ridiculous. Oh, I can hardly hold him. That's the fish we've been searching for for a while. Oh, I'm pretty happy. That's awesome. It wasn't in the shallow water spot where you were hoping to get him. But I got him all the same. Whew, and I'm going to put him back before he ties out. Alright. And off you go, mate. Oh, oh he's, he's gone! gone. Woo! Yeah, the boys. So what's happened? I've dropped that kingfish and it's gone crazy and it's snapped the snapped the plastic coming out of the fuel bowl here. So now we've got no fuel going to the outboard. So we're not going anywhere in a hurry. Alright, so what we've done. I've done away with this all together, done away with the fuel primer. I figured that the, the outboard's got a fuel pump that should suck the fuel through. So we've just done away with the fuel primer, hooked it straight onto the uh, fuel tank. With a bit of luck, it should get us in. Hey, I'm super stoked, I couldn't be any more happy. Thanks to the guys at Southside Boating and Fishing for lending me the, um, lending me the outfit to try out. They said take it out and hurt it. Uh, I think we succeeded in that. For sure, that's probably the biggest king I've ever caught. It is the biggest king I've ever caught. Um, 30 pound, I think 30 pound is quite a bit underdone for fish of that size, but we weren't really expecting to catch fish that size. Even though I say 30 pounds underdone, hey, it got the job done. It made it into the reef a few times and nearly stitched me, but we got it back. So yeah, awesome, what a cool setup. Um, yeah, can't wait to get back into them again. Hopefully we'll try them on some heavier gear next time and really skull drag, so.
We gave it an hour in close here in the shallow reef. This is where we got the small kings last week. This doesn't seem to be happening today. Some pretty big skippy swimming around down here, but what a magic place. The water's just spectacular. I really love sitting in these kind of spots. It's just really dynamic. There's waves, you can see the fish. It's all just really visual. Just a really nice place to fish. Anyway, we're gonna have a bit of a swim and then head back. I've got a few things to do today, so I'm not gonna stay out here too much longer. So we're gonna have a bit of a swim. If you like our stuff, don't forget, subscribe. Stay tuned to the next episode. Hopefully next time Jack or, uh, yeah. <laughs> or Lee can make it happen because they suck today pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's just that's fishing guys. You can't always go catching big kings like that. We've been trying for a while and that's the first time we've caught a big one like that. So I'm pretty wrapped. And to do it on that on the uh, new outfit, can't believe it. Just picked it up yesterday from the guys at Southside. They said heard it, and I think we've achieved that goal. So anyway, we're gonna have a swim. See you in the next episode. You little